Hello. Uh, this is Tina. Okay. Um, in this video, we are gonna introduce HP method and uh, trying to uh, explain to terminology properly used to describe HP method called the self method and uh, item potent. Item potent. Yeah. And let's start. I have one note. So when we make a HTTP request, um, the first line, line on the HTTP request, it's going to be HTTP method, URL, or path. Okay, it's not a full URL, just to contain the path. And the HTTP a protocol version, so, HTTP method has many, okay? We, we, we will talk most of them, but not all of them here. So, it has a gate, gate method, uh, uh, what happened? This one, so this part is HTTP, HTTP. Uh, methods okay it's not that thick anymore and we have a get which is used to retrieve information from the server and uh, we have a post post can use to update uh, information on the server and the put is also used is used to create information on the server okay and we have a delete, which is based on the name you already know, right? Which means delete some resource on the server side. And we have others. Uh, those are mostly very commonly to be uh, used H methods, okay? And there are others like a head. Head is exactly the same as a uh, uh, gate but it doesn't have response body, okay? And we have options. T-I-O-N, options, okay. Which is the option, what are the option ways to communicate with the server? And we have what others, uh, head options, uh, uh, patch. Okay. Patch is kind of between post and put. Uh, it's kind of, uh, it's, uh, it, it will describe a set of instructions of how to modify the resources on the server side. So based on, it's between post and put. Okay. Uh, now, next one. Uh, I want to talk about the self method first okay self method means we can categorize uh, HTTP method using self method or and item potent self method means no matter how many times you make the request the state on the server side remains no change okay nothing is being changed on the server side so let's take a look at which method are the uh, safe method like get right because get only retrieve information is a post safe method no because post is you to update okay is a put no put is uh, if we uh, using put uh, if uh, before the request not, uh, if the resource is not existing on the server side, then it will be uh, created on the server side. So put is not. Delete is also not because delete if uh, uh, we made a request and previously the request existing on the server side and after delete the request, it's going to be removed, right? So it's not a safe method. Is a head a safe method? Yes. Because a head uh, it will um, only retrieve the information, okay? And option is also only retrieve information. Patch is not, okay? 
Okay. Uh, because it will do some things tell how to modify the server side. And the next one, item po item potent. Item po item potent. Item potent means um <coughs> Uh, suppose give you an example okay suppose you have a request here request means the request URL and all the input to the server side okay the re if you make multiple times of this of the same request the server side remain uh, the same and um, what should I say the result on the server side is the same but it doesn't mean the server side doesn't change. Okay, let me uh, say again. Uh, when you make a request multiple multiple times, okay, the server side, the result of the server side remains no change. Got it? The result on the server side remains no change. And uh, when a method is a safe method, it itself definitely is uh, item potent. Okay, so here when we, it's a get, it's a safe method, it definitely is a uh, item potent method because get doesn't change the server side, right? And is a post is item potent? No. The reason for that is when we make a post, Okay, suppose we want, we're trying to uh, add a product onto the server and the product name is, uh, uh, what's the, a textbook, okay? We want to add a textbook uh, on the server side. The first time you click the submit button, it will add one. And you click again, it will add another one. When you click three times, it will have three copies of a textbook on the server side. So when we make the same request multiple times, the result on the server, server side is not the same. Okay, every time it will create one, every time. So it's not item important for the post, okay? So for the put, put is item important. The reason why, uh, suppose the same scenario, we want to add a product phone, okay? Suppose iPhone 11 to the our server side. The first time iPhone 11 doesn't exist, right? So the first time when we click submit button, it will add to the server side, okay? And uh, the second time when we click submit again, it's, it you know, will not add another copy of uh, iPhone 11 or iPhone 12. Uh, anyway, iPhone on the server side. It will replace the existing one. So no matter how many times we put this iPhone onto our server side, eventually only one copy. So the result on the server side is the same, only one. That is, uh, so put is item potent, the method. Got it? Mm, I think I explained where. Well. Good. Uh, delete is also item potent. The reason why? Because suppose we are trying to delete iPhone, uh, this resource from our server side, and if a server side result uh, exist had this iPhone existing, the first time we make a request, the iPhone will be removed from our server side, right? And if we trying to make the same delete iPhone request multiple times, eventually on the server side will doesn't exist. The result is the same, right? The first time delete, the second time, the iPhone is already being uh, removed. So delete request, the consecutive delete request does nothing on the server side. So the result on the server side of delete request will be the same, removed, okay? Only once in a, and only remove that one, okay? So it's item potent. And for the head, it doesn't change, so it's item important. And for the option, item important. Patch is a question. It can be item important. It can not be okay. So uh, when I re uh, read the uh, what thing, MDM, uh, Mozilla Development Network, it is it depends on how you actually implement on your server side. 
So here we describe the HP method and we categorize them in self method and item potent. Really very important for understanding item potent. Okay, because when you make the post method, when you refresh the browser, like uh, Chrome, I think already uh, block this kind of thing. But for other browser, when you re refresh, like uh, click the reloading, and it will make a new submit request. It will make a new post. And if you are trying to place an order, and after you uh, place the order, you reload the button, and it uh, accidentally will uh, place the same order again so this is not not, not a good right and uh, in this tutorial we will use only two methods one is get and one is uh, post and we will describe more uh, in next video what a get and what a post and what's the difference between them okay thank you for watching this video and uh, see you next time bye bye